And that's what's happening with Paul. He's like, I, I know I want to do this, but then this. And he's got this struggle. God's word and God's will in his life will prevail. Now, that is not saying that you are going to have God prevail in against your will in your life. Paul is an apostle of Jesus Christ. A prophet is chosen by God to uh, utter forth God's words. They are in a different category, and we should not expect that the Lord is going to come and make our decisions for us, whether we should get married or whether we should go to the store at 9 o'clock instead of 9.15 or any of those things. What we want to do when we want to get married is to pray to the Lord, and if what we are doing is not contrary to his will, and we like the girl and she likes me or whatever, then you go get married. You, it, it is pointless to ask, should I marry this woman or not? I want you to show me because somebody else may want be asking the exact same question. And what is the Lord going to do? He's going to, you just, you live your life the way that you have set in your mind and you go about your life and you pray about everything that you come up with, everything. That's what you should do. Lord, you know, I want to buy a new car. I would like you to bless that decision. But don't ask him what color of a car you should buy because he's not going to get into those type of details. We are not prophets. We are not apostles. And the Lord, I do not believe, is going to override our will. He's going to do what he sees fit with us in our lives, but he will listen to our prayers. And if we ask him to assist, he will be there guiding us with it, giving us the patience and the tolerance with the buyer, the guy that's selling us the car, and all those kind of things. But uh, just I, I would ask people to not, you know, place all of your burdens as far as making decisions on the Lord. You take your burdens and say, Lord, I'm just, I'm struggling with this. I would like you to give me your peace. I'd like you, but to to put the onus of something that is your responsibility on the Lord, I don't think is appropriate. Okay, we pray about things and then we move forward after asking for his wisdom to do so or asking for his blessing that we do so, etc. But once again, Never pray about something that is against the will of the Lord. We should never do that. If something is scripturally not allowed or it's something that we should not do, we should not even pray about it. That's just, it shows a lack of care about the word of the Lord. And if we do it without knowing the word of the Lord, then that means that we have a lack of wanting to know the word of the Lord. So everything has to come back to the word in our lives. The word is written, it is sealed, and we should be reading it and grasping it. And if we're not sure about it, then do a study on that particular section that you're concerned about or whatever. But uh, there, there has to be a balance in how you approach the Lord with things. So anyway... Um, and if you disagree, that's fine. I'm not here to argue with people over that. I just don't go to the Lord and say, you know, I, I need to do this and that, and I'd like you to, you know, tell me if it's okay or not. I, I, that's not the kind of thing I do because I don't think it is appropriate. I say, Lord, I want to go to the store. I would ask that you would just bless my way. Keep me safe or, you know, whatever. So whatever works for you, that's fine. I'm just telling you what I believe is proper. Okay, yes. If, if you do that for every instance... I think it's more or less, I would like a scapegoat if it doesn't work. Well, that's exactly right. And people will do that. People, I've heard people actually say that after something doesn't work out. Well, the Lord didn't do it. And they're like, they're angry at God for not doing what they wanted. Well, then why'd you ask him in the first place? I just, I don't know. And that's why I say it is, that's exactly the reason why, without me having thought that far ahead, that's exactly the reason why I say this is because God is not a scapegoat. He is there to help us with our lives in accord with his will and in accord with his word. Yes. Asking for wisdom. That's exactly right. That's right in scripture, and therefore he is pleased when we do that. That is exactly right. Okay, once again, back to the word, because the word tells us to do that. Okay.